Hello, welcome to the vlog. Uh, we missed you. We had a little week off last week. Uh, I did, however, post another video. I'm going to say it here, but I feel more comfortable asking in the vlog. But I'm getting messages and comments saying that YouTube is choosing not to share some of my content. And I know, well, I hope it's not because of my videos, because actually I've been really liking my videos lately. I'm going to ask you guys a favour. If you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Give my videos a big thumbs up. And if you want to be notified when I post on YouTube, you can hit the bell. I hope it works. But I would just be so grateful if you like my videos, if you did that. I did my makeup this morning. I wanted to do a, a, a fun, like, kind of TikTok slash reel thing. So I did that. It's also been a minute since I've done, like, a fun or a more glamorous makeup. She's playing. Juno. 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 She's running away from Juno, me. Juno, come here. Come on. Naughty girl. Come on. Naughty, naughty dog. I've got her. You're nabbed. a silly goose. You've been nabbed. Oh, straight away, she's such a good girl. Yeah. And giving kisses and everything. Well, have a fun walk. We just had a lovely lunch as well. I actually, I was, I, I tried to record it, but we were listening to the, the government update about coronavirus. Oh. Uh, so we just had a lovely lunch. We went for dinner last night to Caprese Donkey Stands, which is one of our favourite Italian restaurants. And Ilya gave us a little pot of sauce to take home with us so we could have it for our lunch today. She just looks after us. I spent the first half of today doing my makeup and getting a wee bit of video and stuff like that. And then now I'm, I've got, I think I've got a bit more of a kind of laptop afternoon, but it's Monday today. I'm actually getting a plane down to London tomorrow morning quite early. I think I'll do a wee tiny bit of vlogging just because it's quite fun. But I'm literally down for one night and then I'm back home. It's stuff that I need to go down for uh, essential work as it is. Can't lie to you guys, feeling a bit bombed out after listening to that. Coronavirus update. Holy moly, I just don't know what's going on anymore. Does anyone else just feel confused all the time? And I also just feel like things are long. <laughs> I don't know, I feel very pessimistic today. I'll snap out of it. But like, I, I was in my bed last night and I was just, oh, what was I watching? I was watching a programme and it made me think of Iceland and how much I really want to go back to Iceland. And I was like, when on earth are we going to get a chance to go back to Iceland again? But I'm just going to like make the best of it today, I guess. It's also got really cold. It's really cold here now. I've got the heating on and it's just, it's not doing it for me. I feel like I need more, more warmth. Hence why I'm in my... A big hoodie. But yeah, it's gonna be fine. Fighting the urge not to go to my bed. Alexa, stop. Look at these two angels. How nice are they? Hi guys. <laughs> I like that we work at tail level. <laughs> oh big dog. Yeah, good boy. Look at that old man. He's got this wee grey patch on his snout. He's had that since he was about one. Do you love using his bum as a pillow? Oh, sweet girl. Sweet girl. Hello! I've accidentally given myself an ABBA haircut. Not a haircut, I didn't cut my hair. But look at this style. Why did I think that was okay? I'd never do this, ever. But I just got my soft curl tongue and put my fringe in it and just rolled it away from my face. And now I'm stuck with this. I really don't want to have to put heat on my fringe again because obviously this is like the most fragile part of my hair because it's like the bleach and it's the very front. And I just don't know what to do now. The rest of it looks all right though. I just wanted it big and kind of bigger curly so tomorrow it will be a lot flatter. This fringe is a bit wild. I think, I'm, I think my head's too round for this, if I'm honest. What a shame. Some of you, some of you guys really will not understand the struggles of having a, like a severely round face. <laughs> Look at all of us! Are we best friends? Like we're matching, our hair's matching. <laughs> Drogba, what are you doing, goofy boy? Look at that happy boy. He is actually so happy these days. I had a little while there where his tummy wasn't great and then he's been on his medicine and now he's like a brand new dog, he's so happy. And then this wee one, she's doing good. I think she might be getting her season soon, which was what we're waiting for before we get her dressed. I think someone might be getting her season because she's extra specially needy, aren't you? Extra nice. Wiggles her bum around in her faces. <laughs> they really love each other. Look at this handsome big boy. Thank you for the lift. You're very welcome in the shuffle. <laughs> 
Oh, it's earlier. This has been a while since I had that five o'clock alarm sent. Say it, say it. I can't even speak. Say it. I've got the 6.55 plane to Heathrow. I can't even remember what our usual routine was like. I'm going to stop off. I'll go and get... I need to be careful I don't drink too much coffee. I used to drink so much coffee when I would do these trips. But I'll have my coffee just now. I might even just drink water on the way down. I'll wake up, I'll wake up, I'll wake up. It is absolutely dead. Empty airport. I was just about to order my dinner. I've never been so hungry in my entire life. Maybe I should just get a big dirty dinner. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe I should just do this. I can't not remember the last time I had a burger and a glass of wine. Oh my God, how do I do this? Hi there, can I please order some dinner? Uh, can I please have the crispy chicken skewers and aioli to start? And then I'll get a cheeseburger and fries, please. Yeah, can I get a glass of the, is it Dado e Trato Rosso? Oh my god, you said that much better than me, much nicer than I did. Uh, yeah, a glass of that would be perfect. And then that's all, thanks. Can I get a little extra serving of aioli, if that's all right, for with the chips? Oh, thank you so much. Yes, that's right. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Bye. Absolutely thrilled. Oh... Five hours later. Hello. I'm so not used to this. I used to get up at five and get ready and then get a car to the airport and then be in London all day and then get a car home. My God, I'm not used to it at all. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, I had a great day of meetings today. That's why I am in London. I have no makeup on. Um, I didn't really have time to do my makeup and then obviously when you're on public transport and in taxis and stuff you need to wear your mask so I did a tiny bit of eyes. Just some mascara and some brows and that's literally how I've been today. Uh, I just got to my hotel. Very cute. It's slightly new. So this is the Hoxton. I'm staying in the Hoxton Holborn. I said hi Jamie. Welcome to the Hawks. Hope you enjoy. No, it's not what it says at all. It's not what it says. I'm losing my mind. Hope you have a wonderful stay with us and let us know if there's anything you need. We will sort it right out, the team. They gave me a kombucha, which is actually perfect because I love kombucha. And it was almost like they knew it. I don't know why I'm so hungry. <laughs> I did that really annoying thing. You know when people are like, oh, I've not eaten all day and they actually have had breakfast and lunch. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I had a pret salad and then I had... Um, like a bit of lunch at one of the restaurants. We actually got the train to Brighton today, which is really cool. I've never been to Brighton before. But anyway, I got um, lunch in a like seaside restaurant, which is so good. I got scallops and like charred broccoli. So I kind of paired that together and like, like there's some chips as well. So that was my lunch. We finished up our meetings and I was in the car back and I was like, oh my God, I need to eat. Like, I've not eaten all day. And then as soon as I got in the car, I was like, I'm a fucking liar. I am, I'm lying. I've had breakfast and lunch. I felt well sick when I got here. And then just like that on the table, what is there? Two caramel bars. I ate one straight away, hoofed it, and then I'm saving one for my pudding. Tomorrow I've got uh, an early-ish start. I think I'm probably up at about 7.30. I say early -ish. I'm kidding on that that's not really early. That's really early for me. So I'm up at, I'm up at 7.30. To get myself ready and then I've got, I think I've got three meetings tomorrow uh, and then I'm back home. So it's a flying visit, it's quite exciting, it's quite exciting to be down in London again. I've really missed it but it's not the same, it's good, I'm excited about getting a good night's sleep. I definitely miss Jack and the dogs, I think this is my first like night away from them both, like I think this is my first night away from Jack in a really long time. So I might go and FaceTime him, I, can't, I really do miss him. I really miss them. It's by myself. It's weird. There's something really nice about staying in hotels by yourself, but there's also something quite sad about it. <laughs> so let me just mute Bake Off. Uh, I just thought that you guys would find this super interesting. So obviously, COVID, they try and stay out of your room if you're travelling and you're in a hotel. They try and stay out of your room as much as possible. So I've got a glass of wine in a plastic cup with a coffee lentil on it. I'm not complaining at all. I'm really excited about my dinner, but it's just, this is hilarious. Still nice. What have we got here? 
chips. Wow. Wow, they look good. Chicken skewers. And then this heavy boy must be the burger. I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect this, but it makes sense. Oh my God. Look at that, let me just try it. Let me just try the burger. Beautiful. I slept so good. Well, well, I, I slept really well, but I had a bad dream. I had, I had one of those dreams where you dream that your significant other is cheating on you. I had a dream that Jack cheated on me, it was awful. And in, in the dream, I was like, this isn't real. I'm going to wake up now. And I didn't wake up and I was like, oh my God, this is real. It was very vivid, very vivid. I'm not, <laughs> I was about to text now to, <laughs> to say, you cheated on me in my dream. But really, what 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 can he say? <laughs> He's like, oh, I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, it was horrible. But apart from that, I slept really well. I think it's because I was watching Black Mirror before I went to bed. I don't think that's ever a good idea. I don't know why I'm watching Black Mirror when the world is pretty much like any episode of Black Mirror right now. Uh, I'm just on my laptop. I am getting a taxi in 10 minutes. I have three meetings. My first meeting I'm really excited about. Uh, I'm just meeting a, a creator actually, online creator that I love a lot and I'm just really excited to meet her. Uh, I probably won't vlog any of my meetings today, unfortunately, but I'll let you know all about it when I get home. Uh, this is my makeup today. I was thinking about masks, right? We all have to wear masks. I was wearing a full face of makeup in a really extreme heat for all day, so it was like, it was like 10 hours. And the mask took off my bronzer just here. So uh, I'm wearing, a we I've never done my makeup like this before, but I've got like an eye look on, with some mascara, I've done my brows, I've done a little bit of concealer and powder underneath my eyes. And then this whole part of my face, I don't have anything on. I just got moisturizer, but I've still put a lip on. So I'll, I'll see how it wears, but I think this is gonna be much better. Just because I'm kind of running about like a mad woman, I don't really have time to touch my makeup up or anything. So this is, this is what I've done. And about highlight. Obviously. I think this is going to wear really nicely. And it's more it's a bit more natural, it's quite fun. I like I, my videos lately, if you've not watched them, I'm kind of playing around with my makeup style. But I'm just about to pack my stuff. My alarm went off this morning and I was like, no way. But it's good. I, I'm really excited to get home and grill Jack and make sure he's not cheating on me. Oh my god. Uh, you can make this out. I just got home. So excited to have a bath. Power cut. A power cut. I'm just saying, I was so excited to ju I ju literally just in the door. Oh my god, look how f shy I look. <laughs> I'm covering dog hair, I'm cuddling him. I'm so tired. I was so excited to have a bath. We've got a power cut. Do you need any candles? <laughs> Sad question. Yeah. Why is that not going on fire? Oh my god. Can you watch shite luck? I know guys, look after us. Oh. Is it everyone? I've watched too many horror films for this and I've also been watching a lot of Black Mirror like I said earlier. So this, is, this doesn't sit well with me. That was a terrible light candle. Well, it smells nice, it's not a floor light. Do you want to do, put your phone in a glass and the glass will refract the light like a torch. But you probably want to sit on your phone, so that was, might be not a good idea. I just wanted my dinner. This is a nightmare. I feel like I can't go to bed next. We don't have any hot water now, and I don't want to go to bed without having a bath. After. A cold bath. Oh my god! Not, not, I, that's, that's worse than a power cut. A cold bath. There's light coming from outside. It's someone's torch. It's a torch, Jack. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. So, oh look, the city has light. Lucky them. Why is it all? Why is, why is it so cold? Is there a window open in here? Right, there's a waiting game. Hello. <laughs> I just opened a PR parcel. Right. It's so it's so great. <laughs> it's basically like a cheese board. Like so this is from Garnier. Oh god, he's coming. Look. Watch his reaction. Let's go. Let's go get a biscuit. Let's go. What the heck is this? What the P? Cheese? Jim! <laughs> <laughs> How excited are you? Cheese, man. Cheese and PR. 
Cheese board, that's your favourite. It's like oh, a charcuterie, look. look. Cool, there's a cheese Cheddar, I know. Wine. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Careful, don't touch the right. Look. Toast for cheese. Cheese toast. Brie. Cotswolds Brie. Cotswolds Brie. Probably Chili the best, jam. Probably the best Brie in the UK. There you go. That's cool. I don't There's know why I'm saying there you go, you can't have this. <laughs> I know what I'm having for dessert tonight. Oh, look at that. Some fusty blue cheese. That looks good. How could, how cool? There's that one. That's like Baby Bell style wax. No, that's cheat. That's cheddar. Yummy cheddar. Good cheddar with wax on it. How nice. Yeah, nice. That all happened very quickly. I'm absolutely buzzing to have some cheese. Jack took himself to Asda to get this. I feel like a little bit of nostalgia. It's a wee bit of nostalgia because the sauce is the same, but the cheese, the cheese was never... Letting, that's like cheese strings. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like that. It was like it, yeah, it looks like um. It was like panels of cheese. Oh, they they really that no, I quite like them. They no, really... but it was like I mean the shape. It probably tastes the exact same, but it was the shape it was panels, and you also get pepperoni in the older ones. And the base is weird. Look, it's, I think. Mm. Kind of looks doughy. I don't know. I've not tasted it yet. I it know. could be delicious. I'm waiting for the taste test. I give you a lot more cheese than the sauce. The cheese sauce ratio is a wee bit off. That's good, you can eat a wee bit of cheese just by itself if you want. Mmm. <laughs> quite plastic, quite plastic. <laughs> yeah, of course it's plasticky. Quite plasticky. Um, if I'm putting too much cheese on it. I'll add as well, I've got these Tango Freeze, Easy Freezy Tangy Triangle Ice Pole. We're going out old school tonight. I just feel like we're turning into children, but okay, yeah. time for your taste test. I'm not sure about this. I don't know if you're sure about it. It's fresh. It's new. It's exciting. I know you're going to say that. It's actually not bad. The sauce is good. I drink that sauce. Cheese. You would drink it? I could. Really tasty. <clears throat> really tasty. The dough. The base is too doughy. It tastes like eating dough. That mm -hmm. tastes, like, tastes like eating a pat of bread. Okay. What would you give it out of 10 on the snack rating? Seven out of six. Six. I also, like, look at that. Doesn't that look like it would taste like the most blue thing ever? It doesn't. The flavour does not match the colour. Like, it's not even as flavoursome as an ice blast. What does it taste like, though? Blue. Oh, you mean it looks as if it should taste more intense? Yeah, exactly. Uh, and I bought 40 of them by accident on Amazon. I'm sure it was accident. Hello. I, I just did an Instagram Live, which was really fun. And I'm going for a very 90s Cindy Crawford look with the hair and the makeup and everything. And I'm going to try on some clothes. I've got another box of Revolve clothes that were very kindly gifted to me. But um, you guys liked when Jack rated my outfits the last time, so let's do it again. I think he's going to. I think he's going to like this one. Oh my God! Excuse the mess. This is a dress. Uh, I'll tag everything below. But this is the Camila Coelho. It's like a little LBD with some fur, the, the kind of feather details, but I think this looks really nice. Uh, yeah, I think Jack will like this one. <laughs> Jack, oh. you're going to rate my outfits again. Okay. How do I open this cheese? Turn that camera. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? Out of yeah. 10? Yeah, that's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah, straight off. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a good start. Oh my God, it's so comfy. Winner! Winner! Right, leather trousers, little cami. Yeah, that's nice too. Very nice. Nine. Nine? Yeah, I like these a lot. Leather trousers. So exciting. And then I wear tops like this all the time, so good. I really like this. This is like a t-shirt, dress, combo. Uh, stretchy, comfy. What do you think? Yeah, that's nice too. Seven. Seven? How come? The most harsh critic. You are a harsh critic. Should have, shouldn't have led with a 10 out of 10. This is comfy as anything, oh my God. And I like how it's more fitted here. And then we've got a little bit more bagginess in the t-shirt. Yeah. Right, we're a bit late, summer's over. A bit nice. Oh. Your boobs look big. My, my boobs are quite big. Yeah, that makes them look big. But you like this? Yeah, I like that. That's a uh, solid nine. Glasses as well? Yeah, glasses match. Nine out of ten. Girlfriend shorts. These are great because they're a wee bit longer. I'm in between sizes. These are like a 28 inch. And I think I have, but the 29's a bit big. 
So I think once these are stretched out, I am slightly sad because summer is over, but I'm hope, fingers crossed, we'll get somewhere sunny one day. <laughs> and last thing, I don't have a matching top, but these are cool. These are girlfriend, like, boy shorts. I think these are gonna be good for yeah, sleeping. Nice. You like them? Yeah, they look comfy. They are so comfy. I like the band around the top as well. Yeah. Good. What do you rate? Oh, like kind of lounging, pajama yeah, sort of yeah. style. But I would wear these with like a big t-shirt. Yeah, I suppose. And trainers. Yeah, eight out of ten. We rated high today. Ready? What? Ready for what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I won them with the rest. I felt well sick when I got here. I was like, I'm so hungry. So I looked at the. I was like, my mind. Bye. Bye. Bye, driver. Bye, driver. Bye, driver. Bye, <laughs> what are you doing? Look at all these silly dogs. Oh my god. Oh my god, I absolutely look at dead bears. 